What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So right now we're gonna do a few things on the Subaru. I'm gonna get rid of some of these annoying squeaks that keep on going on. Uh, they just constantly happen, it's just from driving the car hard. The in-links get loose and they start to squeaking like, I don't know, like an old door or something. Just... All right, so when we adjust the sway bars, we have to do it under load of the suspension. So the car has to be basically like on its own weight. So what I'm gonna do, just use these little like ramps. I just use the tops because you can't actually like drive this car on the ramps because it's too low, even though it's not that low. But let's get this thing jacked up. that down on it oh yeah let's crawl up under there so I always like to get under the car with my creeper um, this thing just makes it so much easier you don't get a rip up the back or anything like that so let's get down there so this is what we're gonna be messing with right here is the in links bolt for whatever reason they uh, they're starting to loosen up just from like driving like a madman which is good right everybody loves doing that um, these things just loosen up, so I gotta tighten them up. They are on the softer position. These are soft and the rears are set to hard. This one was super loose, and we're just gonna tighten this up. Man, that was way loose, so. Definitely the, the noise that it's making. I like to have them tighter than looser because I find that they stay tighter like that, basically, and they stop making noise. Used the torque wrench on them before, and I found that that spec was way too loose, so. I just kind of do it by feel now. All right, so the top one felt good. It was just the bottom, just this bottom guy that was loose. So I'm pretty sure that's what make, was making the noise. I have a question for you guys as well. And I'm also gonna put a pole like right up, I don't know, right up here. I'm wondering, do your sway bars squeak? Do you guys have that same issue? Do you have to tighten them often? Or is it just me from like my driving habits and hitting speed bumps and stuff like that? Anyways, uh, just drop a comment or hit this pole up here and let me know. We are gonna put on the hub centric rings. I know you guys noticed that when I put on the new wheels, I did not have hub centric rings and I got those now. I also have a little trick that one of you guys brought up. Let's try this out. Um, I'm just gonna put it on here. We're just gonna kind of wrap it around the lug nut. I'm gonna take my 17 mil socket, shove it on there, and we'll use my breaker bar to uh, break all the lugs loose. Then we'll jack up the car. Hopefully, hopefully this helps out a bit. I mean, it seemed to work well that time. Why am I doing this by hand? This is taking forever. Eh, it's stuck on there again. Pain in the butt. Oh my God, get off there. Let's think about this for a second. Yeah, all right. That was a little easier wheel how it kind of dropped right so that is because there is no hub centric ring on the wheel look at those brakes I am loving these guys they are awesome those extended studs are freaking sweet thing is stopped so much better I will do a review coming up soon uh, probably after autocross or during autocross I think would be a good time to do it because that is a demanding place to uh, test them out at. All right, guys, so here is the package. Bench made mini grip tillion. Cut this open real quick. And there they are. So basically all we got to do is just take this ring and we should just kind of slide it, boom, right inside the hub there. It's going to make it better because what it does is it lines up with the middle piece of the hub right here. That way you know that your wheel is aligned properly. I basically like kind of put the wheel on with it elevated off the ground. That's why you guys were asking like, hey, why did you break them loose like off the ground or why did you torque them not on the ground? Well, it was because I didn't want that pressure pushing up this way. Um, I wanted the wheel to set on there and then I wanted the chamfered piece of the lug, this part here to kind of set into its groove. You can uh, put the wheel back on. Man, these are, these are pretty light. So the wheel itself is like, only uh, 21 pounds, which is not bad. Um, and these are flow formed wheels. These are those DOS wheels that I picked up a while back. I know you guys have seen them 
a few times, but I am really liking them. So, yeah, yeah. This is different doing it with this wrap, but I'm liking it. It feels, feels like it's better. Not sure if it's better. Probably is better. I'm liking it. As far as all my lugs go, the back ones are the ones that aren't marred up as much, and that's because I didn't take them off as many times as my fronts. I've taken my front wheels off probably, I don't know, six times now. That's why I replaced them with ARPs, but I have not done the rears yet. I still gotta get around to that, guys, and there will be a video coming on that soon. Yep, not happening. So far, I'm looking at the lug nut, and it looks really good still. It hasn't like gotten marred up at all. So that saran wrap thing actually has worked out pretty good. We're gonna put another one in and then we're gonna just continue this process on the other side. Boom, they look like that. Take them, slide it right in here. Bam, they're in. You can just put the wheel right back on the car. You're set and ready to go. All right guys, so thanks a lot for watching. It's starting to get dark, so I'm just gonna quit recording here now. But I'm gonna do that to the rest of the wheels. That's gonna get them all set up all good then i'm not going to have any worries or any issues with that in the future so i hope you guys like this video um, like comment or subscribe and we'll talk to you guys soon later guys and wrench on fire extinguishers over there we shouldn't have to use it so let's get to it